All right, Brian here from Garage Mahal, and we have this one basketball game behind us. And a motorcycle, that's another story. Anyway, the basketball game was operated by three AA batteries, which are in this pack, and it basically for the scoring and everything. But the annoying thing was that it has a uh, power button that's on the, the basketball game in front, and anytime anybody was over, guests or friends, they would always leave the game on. So literally I'd put three batteries in and they would last like one day and then they, they were done. So since I like to tinker around with stuff, I figured let me just figure out um, I'm not sure what color the batteries I put in here, series or parallel, but that's neither here nor there. What basically what I did is I, I hooked up a voltmeter. And I want to see what the voltage was of the, the batteries plugged in there. My delusion was that it was four and a half volts. So, because you add them up, I guess that, that means that they're in series. Um, I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments. But anyway, so when I put my hands on here, on the two wires, there, I got four and a half volts is what the batteries are putting out. So, to make this basically Alexa operated, which is the goal of this entire project. I bought one of these uh, Belker transformers. And this one, it has a adjustment in there where you can adjust the voltage. So basically I will adjust that to I'm set on three right now, but I believe it had a little, a little screwdriver that it comes with. Yep, right here in this bag. So I will adjust that to four and a half volts. You can see how that was pretty easy to adjust there. Four and a half volts with the little, uh, little screwdriver thing that they give you. And then the other neat thing is on the end of it, they give you an adapter. So you can do exactly what we're gonna do. So it basically has a plus and a minus side, positive and negative side, and you just plug this in. And then on the controller itself, I have these two wires. You got your positive and your negative wire lead that I stripped down, and I disconnected them from a battery pack already, obviously. And I'm gonna disconnect these batteries. So it won't be battery operated anymore. And I drilled a hole in the back of the battery compartment. So I used a one inch or half an inch drill bit and that was easy enough. So this adapter can fit into the back. And then I can put this end on, hooked in. And then I can simply hook the wires up so this left side is going to be negative so i'm just going to slip that negative wire into that little post and i should be able to screw down on it okay that's pretty you know, pretty tight you just twist this wire around So, why is not being cooperative? So that wires in. And I know it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. But I'm just basically screwing these terminals down so it holds that wire in place. And now I'll just put everything back together again. And we shall have a, a fully functional basketball game that can turn on through Alexa. So at the end of the day, when I turn the lights off in Garage of a Hall, it'll turn his unit off completely. And everybody's happy. So let me just get this situated in here. I gotta bring a little more slack in here. 
line this up better. I'll lay down like that. The controller basically sits in. That's your scoreboard. sits on here and anyway let me let me turn the camera off get this situated a lot better in here and then I'll show you how it looks with the game all hooked up okay so I had to do some quick modifications because the these little red and black wires, they were soldered on there, kind of flimsy. So we disconnected them, resoldered wires, and then have a much stronger connection here. So you'll be able to get a better idea. And what I'm gonna do now is just reinforce it better onto the back of this, and we shouldn't have any problems. All right, so this is the back of the unit. Once it's plugged in, I taped up the back pretty good just to make sure that it holds in any wires that might pop out. Put some Gorilla tape on there, some electrical tape on that end to hold the connections together, and then I wrapped it over the top. So now we have the, the plug that's ready to go. We'll plug that in and see how it works. Okay, so there's the game on, and it basically is activated by this on-off switch, but again, the only reason why I hooked this up is people would always forget to turn off, their batteries would be dead the next time we go to use it. So, this is the solution I came up with, making it powered by a DC adapter because it takes three AAAs, and I wanted to add a little more to it and make it remote controlled through Alexa, so Alexa. Turn basketball off. Okay. So Alexa responded, and boom, it goes out by itself. So hit the switch, and it's dead. Alexa, turn basketball on. I don't know if you could hear a faint click, but now we got power. So the game's up and working. So Alexa, turn basketball off. Yes. And boom, now it's off. So what I'll end up doing is hooking that up so that when I turn the lights off at the end of the night, it'll automatically kill the basketball game. So if it's been on, It'll be off and then this way it'll save us from going through a lot of AA batteries, three at a time. And if you know how much they cost, they get expensive real fast. Anyway, so this little device I think I set up for um, the Alexa adapter was about, I think it was 10 bucks. I'll post the links at the bottom. And then, you know, the wire and the soldering gun and all that stuff I automatically had. But I'll put links to that stuff too. But it was a pretty easy project. Anyway, hope that helps everybody. Thanks. Brian from Grouch Hall out. Thanks for watching and subscribing.